Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 12th until the 18th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Seven of Cups. This card indicates that the images in your mind must be dealt with not only in your dreams but in the world of reality. Be careful of wishful thinking or illusions in the choices you currently face. The character in the Seven of Cups is a dreamer who is able to see beauty and excitement as well as fearful trials and difficulties in the future. If you are constantly caught up in your own dreams, fantasies, and or fears, you will never be able to move forward and make those dreams a reality or overcome those fears. Therefore, the Seven of Cups indicates that although dreaming is beautiful and provides inspiration for action, you must at some point abandon your castles in the sky and begin to build those castles in your real life. A choice must be made even though the apparent multiplicity of options seems to paralyze you with either fear or excessive anticipation. If you are unable to make a decision because of too many options, it is time to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and make a thoughtful choice. You also need to be very clear about what it is you are working towards so that you can make the best choice. Make your decision with caution as all is not what it seems to be. Great opportunities may turn out to be major problems later on, while less enticing options may turn out to be golden opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, there is a risk of illusion. You need to separate what is real from what is illusion. Protect yourself against unclear or wishful thinking and habitual daydreaming. Oftentimes, this card shows choices and plans that have little or no basis in reality. Such things are typical of the developed imagination, and fine if they stay in the imagination. However when you try to implement those ideas in the real world you are leaving yourself open to inevitable disappointment when you realize that your vision simply does not work. The Seven of Cups is also a wish card. Each of the cups is filled with wishes such as wealth, beauty, success, and a nice home. However, not every cup is filled with a positive result. Some cups holding a snake or a demon and thus the Seven of Cups can be a mixed blessing. Be careful what you wish as you may just get it, and at a price. Temptation is associated with the Seven of Cups. With so many choices presented to you, it is easy to be swayed to that cup containing the snake of jealousy and cunning. Since this card is from the suit of cups, the temptation is likely to be sexual or emotional in nature the one night stand, the extramarital affair, and all those other things that seem innocent and pleasurable at the time they are undertaken. But in the vast majority of cases, the pleasure gained temporarily is far outweighed by the consequences that last, in most cases, for an entire lifetime. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Six of Pentacles. This card is representing being in harmony with your money. 
the amount that comes in and the amount that flows out are in balance, and you are thankful for what you have without being grasping of it, and happy to share with others in need. This card is also about charity. You may either be the wealthy man in this card, giving away his wealth, or the beggars, gratefully receiving what the man has to offer. If you are the wealthy man, then you have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the King of Cups. This king is incredibly emotionally controlling and manipulative. This is someone who is toxic, moody, sulky and withdrawn from others particularly if things do not go his way. He can be vindictive and vengeful and has a talent at being able to punish others through emotional manipulation. He uses emotional blackmail to get his way and to push his own agenda. He leaves you feeling uncertain about yourself and as if you are the problem, not him. This only leads to emotional instability within you, which is entirely undeserved. If this sounds like someone you have met in the past, there is still some work to be done in releasing yourself from his controlling forces. A King of Cups can also represent a mature and loving, emotional person, who has let their emotions begin controlling their life. The King of Cups may depend too much on others and view himself through the eyes of others. He may fall into delusions or alcoholism, or other forms of escapism to deal with emotional pain. This could show you trapped in a relationship with someone that is dependent and emotional, or a codependency situation. You may be struggling with self-deception and or the deceptions of others, and the most important thing in this situation is to see yourself and others as they actually are, with clear and loving eyes but not foster any sense of dependence or weakness through your own actions. In a relationship reading, the King of Cups suggests that you feel quite confused about your relationship and your emotions are out of balance and out of control. You are uncertain about your true feelings, and every day they seem to chop and change, leaving you completely confused. You need to be careful, too, about the messages you are sending to your partner as he or she may become easily confused too if you are up one day and down the next. It is probably best to keep some distance now until you work out your feelings and are more in control of your emotional state. Finally, the King of Cups suggests that you need to take greater control and responsibility for your emotional state. Right now, you are a loose cannon, 
letting your emotions rule and flip-flopping from one point of view to another. You want to take charge of your life but then you are waiting for the universe or for fate to show you the way. You need to be more accountable for your emotional well-being. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the five of pentacles. This card indicates what you want most right now is solving financial problem within your life. Overall, this card shows the many faces of material misfortune and lack, including loss of funds, general poverty, illness, unemployment, and solitude. If you have suffered a loss, know that there are people around you who are willing to help. There is always a solution and always a way out, so either open your eyes and go to it, or close your eyes and let the inner light guide you. Often, what has caused these financial problems is a matter of your own emotions, greed will lead to loss, anxiety will lead to error, possessiveness will lead to solitude. By focusing on the material, you lose sight of your spiritual development. You may be rich for a while but all will be lost if you learn nothing. On a psychological level, the five of pentacles may indicate difficulty with your relationship to money and material things. If money becomes the primary motivating force in life and the gauge by which you judge your worth, the lack of it may produce anxiety and a sense of being excluded from the good things money can provide. For example, if you are unfortunate enough to encounter financial difficulties such as the loss of employment or an investment gone belly up, you may fall into the trap of losing faith in your ability to recreate a positive financial situation for yourself. Therefore, you should not only consider your actual financial circumstances but also your attitudes toward money. What fears do you have around money and wealth? Are you anxious about never having enough, or do you have faith in your ability to manifest what you need to live a prosperous, fulfilled life no matter what your circumstances? Often wealth is based as much on your psychological state as your actual financial state. In a world that often equates success with financial wealth, the loss shown on the Five of Pentacles can be a humbling blow to your self-esteem and sense of self-worth. This loss can occur in any number of ways but even though an external event may seem to be the cause, this card often reflects that the loss is something you have brought upon yourself. There is a spiritual loss that often precedes or accompanies loss of material wealth. The Five of Pentacles can also point to a time of being alone, feeling abandoned, ignored and unwanted. You may be excluded from group events or you are being ostracized by others. You are in desperate need of support and comfort from those who actually care. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the nine of wands. This card suggests that you may be hesitant to make a long-term commitment. You may be feeling as if life is all work and no play, and you may feel overcome by responsibilities or a lack of support from those around you. You may also be lacking the necessary resources, such as finances, skills or time, in order to deal with the challenges head on. As such, you are hesitant to make any commitments in fear that your responsibilities will become all too much. You may also be more inclined to be a little on edge and on the defensive. The boundaries you have set around yourself are now becoming your cage, locking you into your old habits and behaviors. Be careful of dwelling on past frustrations and grievances. Just try to let go. The Nine of Wands asks you to be mindful not to make assumptions or hasty judgments. Lighten up a little and return to the Eight of Wands where you take life as it comes in all its various forms. Go with the flow and release yourself of the pressures you are feeling. A holiday or a break might do you some good way you can re-energize and rejuvenate yourself. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands can indicate extreme paranoia. 
you may feel as though you are constantly under attack or are being watched. Oftentimes, this is indicative of a fear from within, rather than an actual external threat. Counseling or psychological help is advised. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ace of Cups. This card represents the beginning of love, happiness and compassion. It can indicate the start of a new relationship, be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel butterflies in your stomach and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive? or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. You are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two, or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. The Ace of Cups often points to fertility. From a very literal point of view, this means that the Ace of Cups can indicate conception, pregnancy or birth. There may be the birth of a new idea or a spark of new inspiration. It can also represent the beginning of a project in which a great deal of loving and creative energy is invested. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Five of Spring. There's much serene beauty in life. However, that kind of tranquility may be overlooked when you're fixated on things that make you unhappy. Release negative situations, and return to your own inner peace. Make sure your thoughts are thoroughly focused on optimistic outcomes. Envision the present and future that you want to manifest, and forget about the past. If you need to mourn a loss, don't hesitate to reach out to those around you who love you and can help you recover in a healthy way. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Melodramatic people and situations foster feelings like regret and anxiety which don't help you live the life you desire. Don't worry, brighter days are just around the corner. The fairy appears clearly worried by what is just out of view on the card. She's ready to take flight, when perhaps a time of contemplation would serve her better. Additional meanings of this card, forgiving past mistakes. Getting something positive out of a challenging situation. Seeing all the possibilities, I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video 
right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.